Are you ready for warm weather and a little sunshine? The Appalachian Wireless team has decided to have the ultimate spring break event. The spring break event is going on now through the end of April, and all smartphones are on sale with Appalachian Advantage. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. As part of Remake Learning Days, Pikeville Elementary School held its annual STEAM Night to showcase students and their use of technology. Tuesday, Mountaintop spoke with technology coordinator Neil Arnett about the event. So one of our big things, especially here at an early age when it comes to exposing students to this much technology uh, and this much engineering, is to really get them used to creating and exploring, uh, you know, and sometimes they come up against problems and learning how to, you know, creatively problem solve around those problems. Uh, and really our goal is at an early age to begin preparing students for our advanced computer science pathways and our engineering pathway at Pikeville High School uh, and really begin to build those high-tech skills for the workforce that we uh, are building here in Eastern Kentucky. During the showcase, students displayed a variety of technologies ranging from 3D modeling and robotics to an electric car. Well, no, it was just like it is right now, and we took it completely apart, and we put it all back together, all by hand, no power tools, no nothing. It took a f many days, and we had to figure out how electricity works for the battery, and how to use most power, t how to use most tools that most of us didn't know how to use when we first started. In just a month, Coleman, Stapleton, and the rest of the Blazing Panthers team completed the vehicle just in time to race. Coleman says they hope people see their efforts. We hope people see that it, uh, we put, it took a lot of time, took a lot of effort to make it, and that we all put a lot, of our, a lot of time into this, and we hope people like it and enjoy the car that we took so many hours and days to create. With an abundance of technology, students were able to use skills to better their community. One project in particular was a 3D printed water filtration system. So the way it would work is you would put it in any type of body of water like a river or a lake and the water filtration, like the actual thing, would be in the, in the nozzle area. So whenever you would drink it, all the bad stuff would be filtered away and you would be drinking purified water. And lastly, while students were excited to display their technologies, a hope from our net was for students to use those skills to create jobs locally. You know, one of our mottos here is that we're creating students uh, that are going to be part of the workforce that hasn't even been invented yet. Uh, you know, when my student, my son, uh, he graduates in 2033, uh, and we don't know what kind of jobs Eastern Kentucky is going to have, but we want him uh, and all of our students to be prepared to creatively problem solve and create whatever kind of community they want. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.